hey guys and welcome back to my channel so as you guys can see by the title of this video this is another current favorites video now I haven't filmed one of these videos for probably like a couple of months so I have a mix of like clothing makeup random things books TV show movies like the whole lot so yeah I think without further ado let's jump straight into the video so I might start off with clothing two clothing items that I have to show you are both jeans so the first pair of jeans that I love are these jeans here so they're just like a darker wash of denim and they have these big like rips in the knees and then they've also got like these rips in the leg and they're just like a boyfriend style so they're like really really baggy and I've just like rolled them at the ends. They have pockets on the back too which is really really good and I actually bought these jeans off of Facebook Marketplace and I have been reaching for them so so much since I bought them like it's insane. And then the last pair of jeans that I have to show you, I actually can't show you while I'm filming this because I have recently just washed them so they're out on the line drying. But once they're dry, I will film some footage and I'll insert that in now so you guys can see me wearing the jeans. So basically, as you guys can see, they're kind of like a lighter wash of denim and they're like a mum style jean, which I really, really like. I bought them from Kmart and I I didn't actually think that they would fit me or like that they would even look good on me because I've tried the straight jeans from Kmart and unfortunately they just don't work on me. Um, I don't know if I need to like try a size up. I tried on a size 10 which is my usual size in the straight jeans and they just didn't look good on me so I was really really pleasantly surprised when I tried these jeans on that they fit me. They aren't exactly like straight cut jeans but they're not exactly like skinny jeans like they've got like a, like a slight bagginess to them but not as much as boyfriend jeans and they have literally been my go-to jeans other than like my distressed ripped jeans that I just showed you and yeah I'm absolutely loving them and I know a lot of other people really Really, really love them so yeah if there's anything that I show you guys that I can find and link below then I will um, just so you guys can get your hands on things as well if you see things that you like the look of and also I will leave um, trailers to all of the movies and TV shows that I talk about as well hopefully I'm in kind of the same position my battery just died so I had to change it I don't actually have any new um, beauty products to mention in this video but I do have a new makeup Makeup product that I have been loving. I'm very very late to the bandwagon on this makeup product because I know there are a lot of people on YouTube that really really like it. But it is just the Urban Decay um, setting spray. This is the all nighter setting spray. Um, I used this today on my face. It has a little like pump spray which is good um, and you can get these in like day sprays and like the night spray and something else I think like an oil control spray or something but I really really like this it does a really nice job of taking away excess powders on my face so it just makes your makeup not look cakey I know it isn't the cheapest of products but um, I do really like the quality I just find that I have to spray it before I do my mascara otherwise it makes my mascara run you can also use this on your brushes to make certain shades of like eyeshadow or highlighter um, more pigmented as well so next up I might do a book now this book again has been getting a lot of attention on YouTube and Instagram and I can see why because I'm like I was hooked I was so hooked that I made Phil read it and even Phil really liked it as well um, and that is this book here so this one is the arrangement by Robin Harding it says love for money what could go wrong it follows the story of Natalie so she is like renting in New York City and she goes to a university and she's like an art student uni students are usually pretty broke so she's struggling to make ends meet and pay her bills and then one of her friends is signed up to like a sugar daddy website so she just thinks like oh I'll just go on a couple dates get some money enough to pay my rent and pay my bills and then I'll drop out and then yeah she meets this guy called Gabe on the um, sugar daddy website and like long story short she ends up like falling for him and then complete twist there's a murder yeah it's like a big shock and the story takes a massive like 360 it's kind of like a romance mixed with a murder mystery kind of book and it's really really interesting and I haven't read anything like this before I love the way this author writes um she writes in the third person which I'm not usually a fan of um I like when it's first person when you're like living the book through their experience but I actually really liked 
the way that this was written um, and I definitely want to read more from this author so if you're after a new book to read highly 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 recommend um, checking this out if you're one of those people that just can't stomach thrillers or horrors or anything I think you would be alright reading this one just judging by how the story goes and everything alright so next up I might do movies so I have two movies first one is burlesque now I had never watched this up until this year which is crazy because it had been on my list of of movies to watch for so long. So it has Sure and um, Christina Aguilera in it. Basically Christina Aguilera is like this like small town girl who has big dreams of becoming like a singer and a performer um, and then she one day just packs up and moves to I think it's LA and she ends up in like it's not like a strip club but it's kind of like a gentleman's lounge basically where they have these girls that like sing and perform and stuff. Yeah, She ends up going in there and loves it and it kind of like follows her journey on how she becomes like this big star and yeah I loved it the music in it is great so yeah it's kind of like a musical so they like have songs and stuff like thrown in and yeah I just I really love the storyline and I just think she's so adorable in it to be honest highly highly recommend watching it if you haven't the next movie is Bridesmaids oh my goodness this was so so funny again it had been on my list to watch for ages my mum had said I'd really like this movie it follows this girl who she doesn't really have a life together she I think she was struggling with her job and like struggles with relationships and stuff but her best friend is getting married and asks her to be a bridesmaid and like help organize her wedding and then that friend that's getting married also has another friend who is like best buds she's best buds with as well the two best friends haven't met before and the other friend is like very like put together has her life sorted and like is rich and all this kind of stuff well like that's what it looks like on the outside because they all have to kind of try and organize this wedding so this rich chick obviously has different ideas of how she wants her best friend's wedding compared to this other friend who doesn't have a life together but has like grown up with a best friend and it's just like a constant like back and forth it's kind of a little bit bitchy but it's really really funny and it's very very relatable to a good chick flick um a great one to watch on a girl's night so I highly recommend watching it if you have not already so then I might jump from movies to tv shows since we're kind of like around the theme of like TV and movies. So the first TV show I wanted to mention is Zoo. This was very different from anything that I have watched before but I really 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 enjoyed it. So Phil actually started watching this and he was telling me about it and I was like you know what I want to watch this with you. I think it is two no it's three seasons long I'm pretty sure. It has been discontinued which is very annoying because the way that it ends you kind of need like a like a final episode or a final season to kind of wrap everything up. Pretty much animals have decided that they no longer want to succumb to being under the, not under the ruling of humans, but like they've decided that humans are no longer a predator basically. And all the animals kind of all join together to kind of gang up on the humans. And it's like this disease that, or this virus or whatever that they get and the humans are trying to figure out how to reverse it so that like the humans are now like the apex predator so yeah it's very kind of like dystopian and apocalyptic which I really really love tv shows that are like that because they're just such a cool concept to kind of understand and yeah I really enjoyed it um the one thing I will say is it was quite gory so there were some bits that I just couldn't watch has the guy that plays Charlie in Twilight. The next TV show that I wanted to mention, again, I feel like I'm very late to the bandwagon with, is New Girl. Now, I've only just started watching this, so I'm only on season one. Um, I'm not really too sure how many seasons. It's basically like this girl who is really, really awkward. She um, splits up with her boyfriend and she has to go and find people to live with. So she ends up moving in with these three guys and like tries to get dating advice and stuff from them and they all become like really, really good friends. It kind of shows like like how guys and girls are different but then kind of how they're like the same in certain ways and just like it's such a funny program too like they all bounce off each other's energy and yeah it's, it's really really fun it's really light-hearted but it's a tiny bit cheesy but like it's it's a cute kind of funny TV show. And then the last TV show that I wanted to mention is actually the newest TV show that I have watched it has only just come out on Netflix and that is Emily in Paris. I I'm obsessed with this like honestly I would watch the whole thing again I really hope they do a second season of this um but it stars Lily Collins and she plays Emily obviously and she ends up 
getting a promotion at work that takes her to Paris to work in like a fashion um, industry and it kind of follows her journey and like her relationship with her boyfriend back home and the friends that she makes and then her Instagram she ends up changing from like Emily whatever it was to Emily in Paris and she posts things on her Instagram and she ends up going viral on um, Instagram for all of her Paris posts that kind of like mixes a couple of my favorite things like social media and like fashion. I am obsessed with the fashion. Her outfits that she wears are so beautiful and I've taken a lot of inspiration from them. I think it's from the same creators as New Girl and Sex in the City so obviously you know that it's gonna be good because I love Sex in the City. I love the movie um, and I love the Carrie Diaries which is kind of based off of Sex in the City and I think we literally watched the whole season in about two days. Like I think there's eight or ten or twelve episodes or something. But yeah we watched the whole thing in two days so. So next up I might do a food item. Now if you guys have watched any of my vlogs this will come as no surprise but I have been obsessed with bagels recently. So these are the ones that we get quite a lot. Um, these ones are the sesame seed bagels from Abe's Bagels. You can get these in multiple different flavours but I just love having the sesame seed ones. Love having them for lunch, love having them for dinner. Pretty much buy them every time we get groceries and I just like toasting them and then like putting hummus and avocado and chicken and spinach and hollandaise sauce. So good, so yum. I basically got obsessed with bagels after watching Zoe Sugg's um, quarantine videos and all she was eating was bagels. And then the last category is just like random things that I have been loving. So the first thing is actually a website and that is Facebook Marketplace. I recently did a like thrift haul of everything that I bought secondhand and a lot of those items were from Facebook Marketplace. I currently bought two things at the moment that I'm waiting for in the post. I have been selling a lot of stuff on Facebook Marketplace but I never used to like buy things off of Facebook Marketplace. Since I've discovered that whole realm of secondhand things I've been on there non-stop and I have literally spent so much money on Facebook Marketplace but I'm also not mad about it because it is a lot cheaper to buy them secondhand than it would be if I bought them new. The next thing I wanted to mention is a podcast and that is the Secrets Out podcast. So this is run by Alfie Days um, here on YouTube and I used to watch um, these types of videos when he used to actually make them like as videos. The Secrets Out started off as a video series where basically he sets up this website where people can submit um, a anonymous secrets that they themselves have. Some of them are very scandalous, some of them are juicy, and some of them are just like your normal kind of secrets. And um, he gets like guest celebrities and stuff to sit and like read through them and then they discuss them and like give advice to those people that sent them in and stuff. And it's really interesting to hear what other people have been up to and kind of like the stuff that's like behind closed doors. It's so interesting and so fascinating. And yeah, he stopped making them as a video series and has now brought them out as a podcast. Yeah, he gets it's like some of the biggest celebrities like Robbie Williams has been on there, KSI has been on there. Oh my goodness, it's so juicy. I think it's available on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, I'm pretty sure. And Phil and I are hooked. Like we always, always, always listen to them when they come out. There's always a new episode every Thursday, so every Thursday I'm on Spotify and I'm downloading it. And then the last random item that I wanted to share and the last thing in this favourites video is my new blue light glasses. So I'll give you a little bit of a, a demo. So this is what they look like. They're like a pink frame. And I actually bought these off of Emma Stevens here on YouTube. If you don't watch her then I'll link her down below. But she is a New Zealand YouTuber. So yeah, I love supporting a fellow Kiwi. Her brand is Make Someone Smile. So it came in this little pouch with the little sun that says Make Someone Smile. There is also cleaning cloth. That says make someone smile. Her website is emmastevensvlogs.com or .co.nz or something. And she sells like merch on there. But these um, blue light glasses she hasn't branded. But she sells them. But they always, always sell out really, really fast. They come in pink and they come in grey. And I just want to say a massive shout out to my workmate and friend Hannah 
who jumped on early and got a pair for me and a pair for herself. Obviously, I paid her back, but yeah, I had no money when they came out. So, big ups to Hannah for getting these on the early because I think they literally sold out within 48 hours and her first drop of them sold out in 30 minutes. So, they're pretty like affordable blue light glasses. And if you guys don't know what blue light glasses are, basically they filter the blue light on your laptop and your phone because blue light is really harmful for your eyes, especially if you're on a device for a really, really long time. And obviously because I do YouTube, I'm constantly editing and I'm constantly like updating stories and stuff on Instagram. Yeah, I noticed that like before I was using them, I would get really, really tired and my eyes would really hurt because I'm like squinting at the screen trying to make sure I'm cutting things right for my videos so that they make sense. So it really takes a toll on my eyes after a while. So yeah, I really wanted a pair of blue light glasses to like protect my eyes and make sure I'm actually fine when I'm editing or I'm on my phone and I've actually noticed a difference when I'm using them like I don't feel as tired and my eyes don't feel as sore when I come off editing definitely worth the price and yeah I'm just I'm really happy that I finally finally got some blue light glasses so there we go guys those are all of the things that I have been loving at the moment I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already please make sure to turn on the notifications and check out my social media it's always linked down below in the description box and yeah if you want to watch any more of my previous current favorites videos then i'll link the playlist down below and i'll leave it in the eye as well which i can never remember what side it's on please let me know in the comments what is one thing that you have been loving at the moment whether it's a tv show a beauty item clothing anything please let me know down below because i'm always on the hunt to try out new things yeah, thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye shoot i need to do up these jeans first. Yep, it's pushed down the very end. That's annoying.